干嘛？干嘛？不好。Delicate flower. <laughs> Welcome back to our YouTube channel, you guys. We are here at our Cool Ship Proj, which is so long awaited. I'm here with Kylie, who is the lead designer on this project. She is our senior design director. And then RJ, she's one of our lead designers. And we designed this thing as an absolute team. And we are so excited to bring it to you through the house tour here. We're gonna have a blast. These two are making their YouTube debut, so I promise I'll go easy on you guys. Um, but we're gonna walk you through the house. We're gonna talk about some of the sources from this project. We're going to share before and afters. This is obviously the after. And we're also filming a project tell-all that we are going to go much deeper into all of the behind the scenes and everything that happened from the time we started this project back in mid-summer 2020 mm -hmm. um, to where we are today and how it all came to be. We're starting off the tour here in the great room and this has become such a great room. I cannot wait to tell you everything. Something that I definitely remember, I don't know if you guys remember what this room looked like when we got here at our first consult, which I think was last April-ish. Paint the picture for me. I almost <laughs> forgot. Our client actually, when they did a light renovation, she had this idea to create this hallway to nowhere right here. So it was these two Wait, steps literally? that that looked up. It went up to more bedrooms, and it was actually a hallway to nowhere. So she knew one day she wanted to fill this in, and they were going to do some work over on this side of the house. So we took that. There was also like a big weird built-ins. This was dark, so we lime washed it. Yeah, it's completely different. Some, some 90s niches <laughs> happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not the good kind. No, no, not the good kind. Yeah, so there was never really a focal point in this room because the fireplace is asymmetrical. So with the fireplace being asymmetrical, we wanted to recapture the focal point of this space. And when I show you the kitchen, you'll understand why it's such a great room and why the spaces needed to talk to each other. So while it's encompassed in the same kind of four walls, we needed this to do talking. Mm -hmm. And we did that by, as RJ said, uh, lime washing this fire fireplace moment, we added this humongous um, run of tambour and beautiful custom cabinetry. Um, when we were kind of coming up with this design, I feel like we talked a lot about kind of that more commercial hospitality moment. Like what would you see in a really swanky hotel and how, how would that feel? Um, and I think you came up with the tambour behind the, the TV. I know I kind of had this brainchild of these pendants coming down that didn't distract from the TV moment, right? Um, and then RJ definitely helped us put it all together and make sure that it would all fit because you're much smarter than Kylie and I put no. together. <laughs> I just have the technical. <laughs> yeah, on the math side. So um, we kind of laid it all out and I think that the contrast and the color is so fantastic. It adds so much intrigue and it's got so much texture. Um, I'm currently trying to figure out how to build it at my house. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about furniture in this space. Our clients are busy, they have a family of four, and they also want to entertain. So I relied largely on Kylie and RJ to be able to tackle our clients' challenges with the space, both before and after, and create a furniture set that would really help them live better in the space. So the way the furniture was set up in the beginning when we first got here, it was all centered on the fireplace, which as we mentioned before, is very asymmetrical in the space. So you really shouldn't be centering it on that. So we wanted to widen the footprint. So we chose to go with two sofas in here. Super comfortable. <laughs> More info on these sofas too to come. Oh my gosh. Um, and then two swivel chairs. Because the TV is over here, it comes off on an axis a swivel um, mount. So we wanted the two swivel chairs so that you can still see the TV and still get viewing access while also, as she mentioned, keeping it very entertaining centric. So we're gonna move into the private dining room next, but we're saving the kitchen for last. Don't look, don't see. What would it be like to actually host a dinner party here in the private dining room? How do we get nice. it? How do we get an invite? I know. We better how do, get an invite. How do we get an invite? invite. Yeah. Exactly. When we got this space, 
It was just a regular old dining room, formal dining room, right? What was here? There was wallpaper on this wall. There was a hutch that, it was big, but it just really didn't fit the space properly. So, center chandelier, basic. Mm -hmm. Fine, yeah, yeah. fine, yeah. Okay. It, was, it was beautiful, but we could do better. Yeah, and the rest of the house is so beautiful. And so we felt like it was underwhelming at, at best, right? Yeah. We talked to our clients a lot, asked them, how often do you use this space? What do you use it for? Um, and there was a bar in another part of the house that we'll tell you about in a bit. So when we converted this space into something that had more function and purpose for them, we needed to be able to have double duty here. So we had to get a bar moment where now it's self-serve and you can obviously make any drink you want. <laughs> Endless. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I know, yeah. we, need, we need wine. And um, pop any bottle of wine that you'd like or champagne. champagne. Sparkling rosé. <laughs> we shifted the focus in this space from the center to each wall. So obviously here with this built-in moment, the unlacquered brass shelves, they're counter-mounted. Kylie and RJ designed them absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna to be totally honest with you, this is not the most cost-effective option. No, definitely not. <laughs> this is not but worth every penny. There is no link to these. Yeah. They are custom and they were designed to fit the space. We actually had to use two trades to get them in. Um, the manufacturer of the um, brass and then the manufacturer of the glass. We also had to make sure that the glass was thick enough so that when we loaded it full of alcohol and booze and Beautiful glass glassware. and all, yeah. Yeah, all the beauty um, that it would hold up. So, so not the most cost effective, but so worth it. Worth it. So worth, <laughs> worth, it. worth it. Completely yeah. worth it. Um, tell me about these countertops and kind of how these came to be. These countertops. Save it for the tell-all. Yes, lots of juicy stories <laughs> behind them. We'll get there. Um, these are actually a porcelain material. So they look like marble. They have all the characteristics and all the veining, such good color. We're obsessed with them. Um, so hard to get. <laughs> Completely, they came from a boat from Italy. Um, also not cost effective. Yes, not cost effective <laughs> at all, but they are pretty much indestructible. So similar to quartz, but even more durable um, that you would get. You can spill red wine on them, which is perfect for a bar and moment. On them. Cut on them, put heat on them, um, pretty much everything that you want to do that if you had marble, you couldn't do. So our clients, that was super important to them and we're obsessed with them. So normally in a space like this with all lower cabinets, you would mostly see doors, but our client let us know that she has a lot of heavy like dishware and alcohol and everything in the drawers. So we decided to go with drawers instead. So they're really easy to open. They can ha hold a lot of weight soft clothes and you can see down in them yes. which is a game changer for anything that you're any entertaining type of space you can sure. see all of your stuff there's so many different drawers that you can compartmentalize all of the like items which i love what color are those cabinets they are sherwin williams accessible Wait, vape i thought we were going to give you, it yeah you have to say like are we going to give it to yeah you, you can just give it <laughs> up you can just give it up girl <laughs> i'm ready to throw it up in. yeah she's like oh okay. like zofin yeah I mean, <laughs> Okay. Before we move on to the kitchen, which I know you're waiting for, I'm sure you're talking shit back there about this white banquette. Because I know you're all thinking the wine, it's going to spill. Red the, wine. The red wine, <laughs> the food. Tell me about it. We had this custom made and it is a linen blend performance fabric, also extra scotch guarded. Um, so basically you can puke on it, rub your face on it. Drink too much? Yeah, what's drink too much. <laughs> Spill red wine on it and it's good. Over into the space where they actually eat every day. This actually used to be a bar, like a full on wet bar, had a sink, a big peninsula that came out here, bar stools that you were sitting on this side and it just felt really weird. So it made this furniture setup not work, wasn't talking to the kitchen, we'll get in that layout soon. Um, so we thought this was a perfect area to create a round table, intimate setting. This is where your family is, where you have dinner every night. You'll see where the old breakfast nook used to be, um, but we wanted to center this space with this insane chandelier that's textural and tiered and that we absolutely love. And this is now their new favorite dining spot. I feel like this space kind of needs like a big intro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do it in unison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, this is the kitchen. <laughs> There's so many moments. D d dare I say that 
This is my favorite project. Oh, easily. Ever? For me too. <laughs> I'm sorry for all of our other projects out there. We got more cool stuff coming. Yeah. But I mean, it's the cool shit project for a reason. Yes. I mean, it really is. So when we got this space, and let us also know, this kitchen style, we'll call it, not style, more like design footprint, mm -hmm. would be referred to as a galley style. Pretty irregular here in Arizona. We don't work on a lot of kitchens that are galley style. So as soon as we turned that corner for the first time at the first console, when we saw that this was galley style, we pretty much decided we had to capitalize. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and really play up the fact that it's a galley and it's a different arrangement of kitchen. So where was the range? Over here. Mm -hmm. Range was here. Yep. Peninsula. Kitchen sink yeah. was, was there. Here. <laughs> in this long, weird peninsula situation. Yeah. So when you opened the dishwasher, mm -hmm. you ran right into it. There was just a major functionality challenge here. And we pretty much figured out that they were living in the front five feet of their big, beautiful, huge kitchen. So we knew that that wasn't gonna work. So in trying to reinvent the space, we instantly pretty much knew that we needed to switch where the range was so that there would be some synergy and a better triangle with how you cook and how you prep, how you rinse all of the things. So we ended up with this incredible moment. We will tell you all about this range and how it came to be very luckily in the project tell all, but it's an Ilve. It is incredible. I, I kind of feel like it sets the entire tone for the, for the space. And then this arched hood moment. Um, we had no idea how to design or execute or build an arched hood moment <laughs> when we designed this kitchen. But um, in the field, we were able to figure it out and it is truly one of my favorite moments ever in any kitchen we have ever designed. It's so expansive. It gives you those soft lines that you get in, in kind of that Santa Barbara feeling, um, but it's so elevated and luxe. I absolutely love it. The plumbing fixtures in this space are from Roll. This is their English gold, worth every penny. Again, not cost effective, but that's okay. Sometimes it just has to be that way. But you know what is a great cost effective material that we used in here? This tile, it's from Doll Tile. It is a really great chalky black, but still has a polish to it. It looks aged, it looks artisan, it looks handmade, and it adds that super, super deep, rich feeling and contrast to what we've got here in the finished drywall. <music> So part of what makes this space work with such rich texture and all of those deep metals is adding natural elements. This floor is limestone. It is real limestone, it's imported, it is absolutely fantastic. It gives you that perfect mid-tone gray color, but in a really natural way. So I told you about white cabinets, they're not out. We were able to work in the white cabinetry mixed with drywall finish and then these beautiful white oak cabinets. They all play so beautifully together. So if you kind of focus in on this area here, you're gonna see how many different materials you're taking in at one time. So I've got the white oak. I've got finished drywall here in a really beautiful paint finish. I've got the porcelain countertop, and then I've got my white cabinetry. I also have this beautiful English gold brass, and then I have the limestone flooring. Oh, and I have a really deep matte black metal. So many materials and finishes, but because they're really balanced, it all works beautifully. So coming with me this way, in elongating that galley so that we could make sure that we got use out of the entire space, we placed the refrigerator here. And so these are two side-by-side -side monogram refrigerator freezer combos. I'm obsessed with this unit together. So they're, they're both separate and we chose a glass door on this side so that it could be a little prettier. And then all of the takeout is in this side that you don't have to worry about seeing. Then you've got two interchangeable refrigerator or freezer drawers. You can use them either way. And then you've got freezers down below. So again, by pulling the refrigerator and freezer units back into the space, it provides so much more use. <music> As Kristen was saying, the front of the kitchen was the only area that they really used, and then this was just a table, very much wasted space, so we wanted to add a second island in here, and not just an island with storage, but let me show you this, an island for the dogs. So this down here, we've got our water filler, um, so you can do your dog's drinking water and food. They are the most loved and spoiled dogs eating off some beautiful porcelain countertop material, let me tell you. And then back up here, they've got tons of drawers, big deep drawers for all of her storage, plateware, dishware, all the things. It's very organized, I promise you. And then if you come this way, this right here, one of our clients must-haves was an arch steel door in her kitchen, and we were 
absolutely not going to say no to that. So this leads into the pantry in here. So again, way more storage. That's where they have all their food and things that they actually eat <laughs> in the kitchen. And then coming this way, this run right here is probably one of my favorites. When we chose these light fixtures, we wanted something um, that kind of spoke as art and that looks alive on the wall. So you'll see they're kind of this crazy mantis shape um, and they are so stunning. You'll notice there's no pendant lighting anywhere else in this space. So we really wanted these to do the talking. Um, we've got this single shelf moment again made out of the same material that we're using for styling. Lots of easy grab your plate, plate up the, the food, um, entertain, and then leading over into this side. This right here, this sink, I'm obsessed with. This is an apron front out of the same material. We wanted it to seem kind of seamless in transition, but still pull some attention to it. You'll again see the beautiful roll plumbing in this English gold. It's just so European, so elevated, and we absolutely love it. So when designing this side of the kitchen, we didn't want it to feel underwhelming compared to the beautiful arched range hood. So we created these glass partitions that not only add contrast to this space, but you also can see through to the living room so it doesn't feel closed off. And then as Kylie mentioned, these lights speak for themselves. They're just stunning. So we're always paying attention to every detail. So one thing that we added in this kitchen is these brass caps at the foot of the island. They just tie in the brass in the kitchen and they add some contrast against the black island. We are here in the bunkhouse and this is actually one of the last spaces that we completed here in phase one of this renovation. So we're gonna start the master bath in a few months, which I'm so excited about. But this used to just be a guest house that had a queen bed. At one point, someone threw an elliptical in here and that was kind of where the extent of the design stopped. So we picked up right there, cleared the space out, added this incredible steel and glass door so that it really had a presence, right? It feels like it's a space that you could come into at any time. Um, our clients have two young boys and obviously, I mean, what boys don't need super awesome bunk beds? <laughs> I really think that they are just so statement making. I will never get sick of a bunk bed. I would get sick making them, which I hope our client doesn't kill us for because they're not the easiest to make, but it's totally worth it. So the bunk beds are here and then we also tucked a little reading nook in here. So you can sit here, enjoy the beautiful sunlight. The lighting in here is amazing. Grab a book, really just kind of get some zen on before you move into the wellness space of the room. The rope wall, it's pretty cool, right? I definitely think it's appropriate for the cool shit Proj. We needed something here in this space that wasn't gonna block off the space and close off any light. But we also wanted a separate workout wellness area. So the rope wall was able to do that for us. So you can work out here, get your zen on, and then if you come back here, this space has totally transformed. This is our wellness bar. So you can work out, grab your gym towel, grab a granola bar or a protein bar, your water, and after you work out, you can hop in the bathroom, which has been completely redone. And this space is truly, I think, one of my favorite bathrooms we've done. It's got so much character um, and I just love it. Okay, ladies, we are about to wrap the Cool Shit Proj. And we better get invited back here. I know, well, For a really yeah. good dinner party. Yes, a really good one. <laughs> And if you haven't gone enough and you want more juicy secrets and behind the scenes details, make sure you check out our Project Tell All. And make sure so you don't miss anything, you are subscribing. Talk to us in the comments, we always respond. We want to hear what you have to say. This was the first time I had a lead designer and our senior design director with me. I hope you guys loved it as much as we did and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Woo. It's on the best.